Hi, everybody. Welcome in. So good to see everybody. Hang on. I'm all discombobulated. Just give me one second. As usual, I was monkeying around. <laughs> I forgot how I'm not I'm not enough into the live to drop the F-bomb. So I um, can't be, you know, cussing just yet. <clears throat> we'll save that for later. But anyway, um, that's the new uh, phone calls intro. I'm going to tweak it just a little bit, um, but I wanted to just get it out for you guys. Let me bring Allie up. So we can get this show on the road. Hey, babe, how are you? Oh, my God. I love the intro. It's so good. I think it was so good. And you even made the pictures that you couldn't see. Like, you did, like, the cartoon things so you could see it more. And, oh, my God, it's just so good. <laughs> Thank, <laughs> Thank you. you. I love it. Oh, um, you like it. You know what? I didn't do the cartoon thing. You know what I did? That's AI. That's that enhancer. The AI, yeah. you put it to the enhancer in, in the Canva, and that is what uh, the AI thinks Leticia was trying to do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. It was so good. Oh, it's I'm just so good. Hey, you guys. It's so good to see it. everybody. I'm so glad you guys are all here. But I know you guys came for the calls. Ah, crap. I forgot to do something. Hang on a minute. This is not the right one i forgot about this i have to go to the other one hold on okay i gotta go Thank to you guys uh, in the chat. me hold on a second i forgot we had two I more mean, calls left the other yeah from the on other your, one on, mm -hmm. yes i hope that the ones i do you can we can hear okay and stuff because we're oh, gonna start I, into the ones did you listen yeah i listened they were fine yes okay uh, good um Yay! I'm so excited. Let me see excited. if I can find them. Shit. Hmm. Crap. Hold yeah, on. I gotta go to. The, we gotta go to the studio to do it. Give me just a second, you guys. I'm sorry. Okay. Ooh, pointer lover. Okay, I've been. I have the last hour or so. I've been not really on the phone, like, and able to check stuff. Let me look. What's going on? Tisha filed something on. Oh uh, yes, 15th. she did. She did. Um, on yeah, she did. Hold on. What was it? Well, I'm leaving it now. She uh, filed something about her. Um, hang on a minute. Her uh, her lawsuit that she's suing. Oh, okay. I see. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Pointer Lover. Thank you so much. Um. Somebody. Um, oh, Nana. I okay, thank you. Dropped it in the Nana. chat, and um, I forgot to. Uh, I meant to reply, but then I got busy. Look, I'm gonna tell you what I was really doing. I like to watch videos <clears throat> because um, I um, I look for inspiration to make new videos. So I was watching um, a couple of Lady Gaga videos. She has a new one out and that's what I was doing. So <laughs> that's what I was Nana, doing. Nana, I don't think I got it. Let me see. I don't know where. Hmm. There Unless we go. it just hasn't loaded now. three yet. All right. We're at what? The last... We the listened to who? who? Like Amber was minutes. the last one. I don't remember, but I know it was two calls it. and it was like 30 minutes. All right, hold on. So we listened to the unknown YouTuber? Yes. We definitely listened hold to her. On, let me look. Right. Okay. I know, but I, okay. So uh, on March 27th, Okay, we have Aunt Brenda, Amy L, and the unknown YouTuber. I know we listen to Aunt Brenda. I think we have okay. these two left, which is the unknown YouTuber, 50 and 51, I think. Yeah, we had two left. And um, yeah, so, so that's I 50 can go and check in my overlays. Okay. No, I got it, babe. Yeah. I got it. Okay. I looked in the notes. Yeah, because I'm, 
Well, I'm on the StreamYard guest app where I could eat probably easier. I don't know. I might I'd have to get on my computer and check my overlays from last night and I could tell you're us. You're totally fine. But... Hold on, let me listen to this really. Okay, Nana, thank you. I am excited, you guys, for these. And the ones that I, I hope that we can get through as many as we can because yeah. they're they're pretty interesting, the one the April ones. Um because remember, Brenda was going to Harley's to stay for Easter. And that, yes. we'll see how that shakes out. Mm -hmm. It's going to be really interesting. Of course, my, my favorite word. but <laughs> Sparkles, I'll be mostly listening and in and not in uh, and not in chat. I have two out of three kiddos sick, but thanks for doing this and great job on the intro. I oh, am so no. sorry that two of the babies are sick, but hopefully... They get to feeling better, and hopefully you don't stress too much because I know it's stressful when our kids are sick. Yeah, I, I don't like it when the kids are at all. Hey, well, I don't think anybody Nana. actually does, but all right. Are we ready? Nana, Karen, we're ready. Hello, everyone. I was going to say hello, but let's go ahead. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that because well, I don't, don't want to, like you know. waiting too long. I don't yes. want to keep you guys waiting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right, here we go. I can't oh, feel. Hold on. Dead gummit. Yeah. Yeah, okay. okay. Yeah, you too. Bye. Hey, Lakeisha. Hey, how are you doing? I'm okay. Did you get my letter? Uh, not yet, but I was calling to tell you we can't get letters after April 7th. Oh, really? Yeah, so... Um, I can't, that, too. Yeah, they're, that should be here beforehand, but then they're counting, okay. all mail, they're counting all mail services after April 7th, except books. Um, oh. oh, you can get books, too? Yeah, you can get books, but they're doing everything through that app. So, you know, on the app, you can email people. And, um, you know what? Do you want to know what happened Wednesday? I tried to contact you um, Monday, but um, they canceled me twice. I couldn't send you an e-message because I thought the 9, 9.30 time for you to call me was my time, but it was Colorado time, 10.30 my time, and I met at the cancer center with my dad from 10 to noon. Oh, uh, I figured I said she, that's exactly what I said. I said she must have thought that, um, it was that, you know, not Mountain time. Because what it does yeah, the is time, it takes away the time thing really confuses me. Yeah, it takes away your visit for that week, but that was okay. I was like, well, I was like, because I had used that visit for the week to talk to you, but I was like, all right, it'll be all right. I said, oh, I'm sorry. It's a fast that I figured it'd be still with something with the, like with your dad because I went down there. And I was like, oh, but. No. I'm so sorry. Yeah, no, it's not a good deal. I figured it was something else. Like she's got a lot of good things going on with her family, so it could have been something with that. Yeah. How are you? Oh, uh, well, it's all right, I guess. Just doing a little bit of um, a little bit of a culture shock, and they still want me to join this uh, stupid next to mafia, and I don't want to join it. And they tell me if I don't join it, I have to hold people for ransom, and I don't want to do all that. You know. Sounds like a lot of crazy shit going on that, you know, people don't know about, you know what I mean? Yeah, well, they just come to me and just stay on me about it because I don't want to be in the vampire group anymore. And so they're just having me basically give me a hard time about it. But I got a radio finally, so I'm hoping that with the radio, I'm starting to like tune my brain back to normalcy a little bit, you know what I mean? Wow. I see you had a um amazing um PI on your case now. Oh yeah, yeah. That's good to see some action being done. Yep. She's yeah. She's you know what I mean? Yeah, she's about to go to uh, Mexico for me. She's flying to Mexico for me. And uh then she's flying to um South Carolina for me to get that phone that uh they don't have 
got my yeah. she's flying out there to get it well she's already you can pull it up on the computer we already did that for i followed but uh she wants the copy of it too just to be safe you know what i mean I mean, not the mm-hmm. iCloud. Not the iCloud's gonna hopefully it won't shut down one day. But you know, it's always best to have you know two 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 options of it. See, I'm not tech savvy or stuff. Is iCloud for iPhones only? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So um. like, all my because I had two iClouds. So the one iCloud is backed up on the other iPhone. I mean, on the other, the other iPhone is backed up on the other iCloud, and uh, that had all my evidence on it. That'll clear me. But, like, um, she was like, I'm going to go get the phone anyway. She was like, even though we got the iCloud, she was like, I'm going to get the phone. So she's been really good um, with that, and she's going to go fly to Mexico. I told her, I said, do you realize you're going into <laughs> the deep, 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 scary parts of Mexico, right? You know you're not going to Puerto Vallarta. And she was laughing. She was like, I know, I know. I got to. I was like, all right. So, well, at least you're getting some help now in your case is starting to move forward, you know what I mean? Because otherwise it was at a standstill with no PIs or anything. Yeah. Um, what did you do, look her up online or something? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I wanted to see um, how good she was. Yeah. Well, she's been, I don't remember her name. I just did a quick search. Yeah, Caitlin, she's been um, really helpful so far as far as like, helping me preserve stuff and like, just questions that I had about, you know, Certain things, you know, because we found, you know, I, I think it's 62, 62 discrepancies already, 62 holes already. And uh, so, I mean, you know, we're on it. Boom, boom, boom. I mean, I had already found a bunch myself, but like it was good to like have some else to look to make sure I wasn't like, you know, missing something, you know what I mean? And I'm at 62 holes already. So, um, so yeah. Are you still in general pop? Yeah, yeah, I mean, I mentioned Paul. How's that going? It's okay. I mean, she's also good about the fact that uh, if anyone says something, like, someone might say something that they talked to me before or something, and I don't even know these people. And so I just immediately go give her their name, and she's documenting it. You know, that way nobody can come up and make some craziness up, because I don't even know these people. And it wasn't when I was in here, the girl was trying to say, it was when she was with me in Alpha 2, and I was like, I don't even know this girl. I don't even know what she's talking about. And what she was saying was, like, off the wall, you know. And, uh, the next minute, she was talking about how she went crazy for a year. And I was like, well, maybe because she went crazy for a year, she's talking crazy talk. But, you know, it's easy to go crazy in here because you're, you're segregated all the time, you know what I mean? Even in this ward. That's what I said. Yeah, even in this ward, you're supposed to have more time out but because of all the lockdowns like my group didn't get to come out for three days like because we got our time happened to be with COVID testing so we had to stay locked down then the next time we had a pipe that had broke and uh that was water everywhere so our group had to stay locked down so if it fell during that time that something happened you don't go back and make it up you see what I'm saying okay and then we have to lock down for meds even if you don't have segs against somebody, stuff like that. They do it, in, I, I think, so I, I'm sure there's a problem all over the world, but there's a huge sure problem in Colorado, and especially here in El Paso. And, you know, I mean, we get that people come in with chem dip cards, you know, chemical dependency cards, and I was like, so they had to get medicine to, like, wean them off the drugs, you know, like, just in this one war. Oh. Get back. You know, I just go to the word and I pray for it because it's a huge show of problems. So I think that's the reason they make them lock down during that time period because that's when people who come in off the streets come in and they can bring drugs in to people and like stuff like that. So, but uh, you know, the dudes do their own thing. But the girls, for some reason, I don't know, they get on drugs to fight. So I guess it's to help with safety precautions, you know what I mean? Yeah. But yeah, they've been a lot better, like, ever since, you know, it took me basically having to, like, you know, represent myself and then get the help that I needed to be able to get the, you know, the jail to cooperate. And, you know, somebody made a good point when they talked to me. They were like, 
your entire attorneys, they never said anything to us that all the security was impeding or helping in the process. And I was like, well, they made a good point. They never did, because every time I would ask them to, like, message the jail or contact them and ask them, could, we, could they sit down and have, like, a conversation, they would never do it. And, like, ever since I've done it, they've been nothing but nice and helpful. They got me a laptop here. Because oh, the, the computer wouldn't work. And all I did was reach out to them and told them. It, it worked, but not on everything. Reached out to them. Phone call. They came myself and said, hey, we got you a laptop. Not a problem. Reached out to them without the you know, security issues and being it was impeding my participation. They had a meeting. They took me off with the strength and all that, that stuff. You know, like, so they've, you know, they've done a very good job at trying to, like, fix the situation. You know, whether or not how they did, you know, the whole prior year before, you know, I'm not going to hold that against them because that's not me. That would be Christian-like. But I'm just glad that they tried to do the right thing now. You know what I mean? Well, yeah, I'm just glad you're not locked in a cell all by yourself for 23 hours a day. Yeah, and it pretty much is still the same thing because I'm still by myself because I'm not allowed a cellmate because of the discovery and, you know, safety issues. Because the last thing you'd want them to have is, like, some, some snitch come in here and lie and make up stories again in your cell. You know what I mean? Um, so that's a good safety precaution to keep in play, which they agree to that, too. So I don't, I won't have a cellmate, which is good. And then um, so as long as you don't get your time don't fall when there's meds and, you know, stuff like that. You can get at least an hour and 45 minutes to two hours out. But, like, tomorrow, 8 to 11, I might get 30 minutes out because that's a bad time because that's when medical comes and mental health and, you know, all that stuff. So it's still pretty much 22 hours. I just average 22-hour lockdown. But the difference is I can have a radio, and that kind of helps with the whole mental part, you know? Oh, you didn't have a radio? No, I never had a radio, nothing before. Not even a TV? No. None of that. Really? Yeah, so now I at least, I can't see the TV because they still have me segregated because they have me at the end, which again is fine for you know safety and stuff like that. But um, at least I have a radio, so I can actually get order food. I, ate, I, had, or, I had four Jolly Ranchers the other day and I got so sick because you know I hadn't had sugar like that. And then I had a cup of coffee, and I was just bad out. Because <laughs> I, 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 I hadn't had caffeine in the years, so I was, like, all over the place. But um, that's the whole, like, skip the part. It's, it's hard to, like, break away from that. I mean, I say in the scripture a lot, but, like, you don't know what in the world. Everybody becomes zombies, and there's people in your cell. You have to kick them out. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. It, it's, I never, like, I don't, I mean, I always had, like, episodes of it, you know? Like, I, I, one time when I was in uh, South Carolina, like, I was just convinced I had all kinds of stuff going on. I would be at the doctor, and I'd be telling them, they'd be like, no, you're fine. I mean, I was going crazy. And that, that school district made me go, you know, start seeking help for it. Uh, because I was, like, at the school imagining people were there, and I was freaking out, you know. So I had it to that, but, like, when you get segregated even more, it increases it, you know. That's what I said. Yeah. That's know, what I said. I can't imagine you go cuckoo. Yeah. And it happens. I'm not the only one. There's several people, like. And oh, yeah. The lady last night, so they had to drag her out of here to SD because she thought somebody was in her cell. She was fighting them in her cell. But then she was so loud, the shirt in the world, they took her out of here, she was in her underwear bra. Then the one girl, they tased her, like, I'm telling you, this girl was crazy. She went crazy. She was a respiratory therapist, worked on basic Carson, uh, the, the military thing, everything. I talked to her a few times. Very smart girl. Crazy thing is, she used to date Pat. She's crazy. But, um, no way. <laughs> I know, yeah, she did. She was on the, um, the Dateline thing because they called an interview. It was smart girl, everything. But she goes in her psychotic mode. Get so low, and they taste her like eight times and didn't face this girl. Didn't face mm-hmm. it. When she walked out of here, she must have been like on her period, and there was like blood everywhere. I mean, she punched oh. herself, she beat herself up, gave herself two purple eyes. Like, she, 
I'm telling you, you go crazy. Like, people don't understand what it happens to when you segregate somebody, and you, especially women, because we're social people. See the scrutiny, the persecution, you know, the false stuff, and all that. I mean, you go crazy. <laughs> you know? So, was the main purpose they had to be segregated because of your safety, or what? Well, they, I mean, the problem is the media. The media comes on here, you know, they, the media don't know nothing, so they try to go, you know, push to do this or that, and so what they portray to people in here, like the dudes, I don't worry about them. The girls, they portray to them, you know, all these this stuff, and they, they just don't have a clue, you know what I'm saying? And the women, we're passionate people. You, know? you have one minute remaining. Most of the people have got to see my character, like yesterday... I was praying with this one girl because she didn't know the Lord and all that. So she asked me because she read my baby bread and I was praying with her and stuff like that. And like, people get to see my character and they be like, like whoa, wait a minute. Like, something right here. You know what I'm saying? I, but, I agree. I, I know it's different to teach other than what I hear. Right. And, and that's what a lot of people get to see, especially even these deputies. They all, you know, more and more get to see, like, wait a minute now. And that's the good thing. It just takes a while for that to get to finally happen, but, you know. It's coming. God's already moving because he already got me some food and some socks. So he's already moved. <laughs> you know, so. But it's going to hang up. I just hope you're doing okay with your dad. Prayers for him. I, I've been keeping prayers for him. Uh, I sent you a nice chair, by the way. See what now? I sent you a nice chair, by the way. Cool. Thank you, so Thank you so much. I'm going to yep. go eat some cereal bars because I get to finally have food, so I'm excited. So um, I'm going to go get that. Right okay. Now. All right. You have Thank a good day. Thank you for calling me. You're welcome, you're welcome. I talk to you soon. God bless you. Thank you for using Global Telling. Well, I see we're back on the vampire bullshit. Shut up, Tisha. First of all, that's not how it works. Eating four Jolly Ranchers after you haven't had sugar for a year, which, ma'am, I don't know if you're aware of this or not, but uh, there is sugar in cookies. So, how long again? Shut up. So <laughs> effing ridiculous. <laughs> and they want her maroon. To, she's back on the. Uh, <clears throat> they want me to join the Mexican mafia and hold or hold, the hold people at ransom thing. However, she said that. <laughs> um. And then, let's see, she doesn't want to be in the vampire group anymore. Okay, but there was an interesting part that I think we should talk about. Um, okay. The Caitlin, the PI, so I wonder how uh, the YouTuber knew about that. Because if you hear, she said, um, I, I saw, see that you have this new amazing PI. And Tisha says, yeah, she's going to go down to Mexico for me. And then she's about to fly to Mexico for me. Then she's going to fly to South Carolina and um, get get that phone that has the evidence on it. Um, so anyways, that is, she does actually, there was actually an investigator working with them, Caitlin. I'm assuming they're talking about that. And how does, I wonder how the YouTuber knew about it. It must have been in the news or something. I don't know. Because I don't remember. I don't know. But I just thought well, that was interesting. I would imagine. Noteworthy. What, whether... <laughs> no, no. I think what happened is, babe. So when Letitia went pro se, okay, anybody that's assigned to her, like how she has a, an, advise, a, an advisor council, um, mm -hmm. it's... She also gets a PI and all of that stuff because she is indigent is um, filed for and paid for by the taxpayers. So uh, not filed. What I should say is they pay for it. The taxpayers pay for it. But in order to get those things, you have to file with the court. Like we saw with Boone, she filed to have uh, to request a, a, a private investigator. So likely what happened is there was a filing. Like probably Josh oh, to okay. help helped her to make the right. request, and that's how she got it. And those those records would be public. So <clears throat> okay, 
Hey, Debbie. It's so good to see you. Debbie said that she's been really sick, and I, I hope that you're feeling better. I saw that, Debbie. I'm so sorry, babe. I hope you get to feeling better, you guys. There is something going around, though. I did hear about that, um, that there is a tummy bug going around, and it is a no bueno, I have heard. So y'all take care of yourselves. I know that I was uh, scrolling through the YouTubes a couple of days ago, and there was a... Um, a YouTube, I think it was a video, I want to say it was out of Ohio, where they, like Cincinnati, I think, that had shut down a bunch of schools, a whole school district, because so many people were out yep. sick. So, I saw that, actually, the mm -hmm. local high school near me, not the one that Trenton goes to, but um, the public school near me, they um, had, like, they had, like, 70% of their kids out one day, and a bunch of teachers, and they also shut down. Jesus. All right. Well, hang oh, on just one girl, second. I'm sorry. I want to okay. say this. I want to say a couple of things just really quick. Thank you to Teacup Kraken for gifting award uh, membership. Thank you to Jojo for the super sticker. I appreciate that very much. Thank you to Neat Noodle also who gifted a membership. And thank you to my buddy, my pal, my friend, MK Lynn. For gifting five memberships. Thank you so much. I just like to mess with MK. It makes me laugh. <laughs> oh my God. I just like to give Jim him an extra in. long, extra. I just like to give him an extra long name because he has the audacity to come in here with two initials, just initials, two oh. letters, M and K. <laughs> <laughs> also, Jen, um, yes. I was going to tell you, and I sent it to you. I sent a picture in our um, messenger if you want to show it at any point or whatever but that crime crochet and coffee sent us remember uh, uh, apple is our community it. mascot oh, but today yes. she gets to come she gets to come home so. yay apple the here's the only problem um i don't know if you guys uh thank you megan oh wait it went away i appreciate hey, it so much thank you so much I don't know if you guys are aware of this, but we're having solar flares again, apparently. Um, and the internet is caca. And so in order for me to make sure that, because it's even right now, like telling me that my connection is unstable. You're unstable, StreamYard. Um, but <laughs> anyway, I, I turned everything except for, you know, my husband's watching TV, but everything that requires internet, I turned it, I disconnected the internet from everything. So I can't look. That's why I'm chatting from StreamYard, which I don't like because I have no emojis. It's caca. So, yeah. Also, I want to say this too before I forget. Oh, Skylab, thank you so much. I appreciate that. Thank you. Hey, coolest reviews. Long time no see, buddy. Um, I want to also say before I forget. She did not fly to Mexico to get a phone. Shut up, Tisha. First, that's not even how the cloud works. She's so ridiculous. Well, she flew to South Carolina for the phone and Mexico for something else. But also, you missed a super chat from Megan. Oh, did I? I'm sorry, Megan. Right oh, Megan, Scotland. thank you so much. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to miss that. She's so stupid. Okay. I bet she thinks that the iCloud is a literal cloud. What do you bet? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> like it's hey, it's an actual have, place. Do you have your settings where, because I can see your, um, do you have your settings where it stars the um, super chats and messengers and super stickers? It does. I do. Yeah. I just missed okay. it. Okay. Because I wasn't okay, looking there. Stupid. I was looking actually in chat. Oh, okay. I see. Well, mm -hmm. I was just in case you didn't going to give you the deets on that. But I guess well, I know. was today <laughs> years old when I realized that you can move the closed captions. <laughs> I know. I learned that from Melissa. <laughs> this isn't a, I learned it from watching you. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Thanks, Melissa, for teaching Aww. us. <laughs> Melissa, thank you, babe. Choo -choo. You know, every time I see that, the choo-choo, I think of um, Chief Wiggum's son, Ralph, when he sent um, Lisa Simpson the Valentine's card that says, I choo-choo-choose you. And it was a train, and she broke his heart. 
don't know why, but I remember that it's an old, like it, it's an old Simpsons, like one of like the probably like the first season of Simpsons. Oh wow! Yeah. Uh huh. Oh, Melissa, that was so sweet. You got was so, so sweet. sweet. Jen, de- awesome. Jen deserves deserves the the love because I can tell you what after the next calls in April, I edited and I've only done what we, like this one video so far fully. And it was not easy. I mean, it wasn't hard. It was just time consuming. And Jen has done like three times the amount of calls and made us that intro, which I love so much. Um, so you've been working your butt off and I just appreciate it. Oh, so thank you it. so much, babe. I'm so proud of you. Oh, look at uh, Karen. Yay. I just realized this. Jen, Lou and Allie, you are so awesome. Love y'all. Thank you, babe. And oh, we love you back. Clicker, thank you so much. I'm here in the spunky bendy tonight. I love it. Thanks, ladies. Love you both. <laughs> Y'all are the best. Thank you, Clicker. I appreciate that. And look oh, at Music City back. Mom coming in with the Holy choo <laughs> I choo choose you, and it's a train. <laughs> I don't. I just crack myself up. I mean, yeah, really, I laugh at the so stupidest sweet. shit sometimes. What, babe? They're so sweet. They are. You guys are the best. You guys are all the best. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much. I appreciate that so much. Okay, so now we have the final call of um, oh, MJ's Wolfie. What? Oh, I like Aww. your little avatar. I love it. Thank you so much. Wolfie. Aw. Look over here. MK Lynn done been a member for 12 oh, months. Holy That's moly. Wh- Thank you he guys. Just did 12 months on mine too. He's, I can't believe it. It's I know. And Kimberly's been a member for three months. Thank you so much. And Kayleen, Wolfie, Kimberly, all y'all been doing. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Yes, the <sighs> way she writes me, M. Kayleen. M. Kayleen. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right. So, so now we got to get serious for a minute. Not real serious, just a little serious. Okay. Okay. Hey, Meatfoot. Um, so it's Harley, I guess. Yes. I don't remember what this call is about. I do. I do think there's some gospel talk, a gospel songs talk in here, I think again. Um, but I want to say this, you know, Allie was very, very apprehensive because she was unsure about her ability. She knows how to edit on a phone, but she's not used to editing on a computer. And I listened um, to the calls a little bit before the live, just so that I would have it in my history so that I could Mm -hmm. um, play it for you guys. So I'd know where it was at. And you did a fantastic job, Allie. And also, if you did enjoy the inner, if you did enjoy the intro, a lot of those, um, slides that I used were pictures that Allie took and had as um, thumbnails at one point or another. I just took out the writing. So yeah, Allie does a lot that. of work and you should be proud of yourself, Allie, and d- be confident. You are a smart girl. Very Thank smart. You. Well, well, I know that. Okay. So I did make it louder on all of the calls, but there was this one call where um, I don't know. I don't know how far we'll get tonight, but it has like a lot of background noise. So I I did like the softening the background, whatever that effect was, and it helped a little bit, but there is still, you know, some background noise and there ain't no way I can, (laughs) I don't know how to do any better. So it's just what we got. (laughs) Excuse me. I think you're, I think you did just fine, babe. I think you did a great job. I think we're far harder on ourselves, but you are a smart gear and don't you let anybody tell you that you are not. Okay, hang on. I want Thank to you. acknowledge some things. Thank you so much, Karen. I appreciate that, babe. And Lil Red says, hey, hey, need our shut up, LaGrecia 2 Chains hoodie. Lori became a member. Thank you so much, Tess. Now I have that 90s come on ride that train song in my head. So now you all do too. Woo, woo, come on ride that train. <laughs> Oh, I don't like that song. Chica, chica. Um, <laughs> <laughs> hey, true crime junkie member for one month. Thank you, babe. I'm sorry. That is my like little. I I, I like have song. to fit. 
Well, that's how the song ends and it had to come out. Otherwise it would <laughs> um, like, <laughs> it would be bothering me. <laughs> okay. That was just really funny. But all right. I'm ready for Harley. <laughs> Woo. <laughs> all right. Let's hear what Harley's got to say. Here we go. Okay. Hello. Oh my God. How are you being? <laughs> I said, missing your call. Yeah, I bet. You were busy. You were, you were like, ah, I don't want to talk to her. No. Oh, my God. Oh, Breathe. Are you going to work? Oh, no, it's a Sunday. No. <laughs> Are you in bed? Huh? Are you asleep? No. Mm -hmm. I said no. no. I hope you get your um that thing before April seventh because they're counseling mail service. Since that's April seventh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're not allowed to get any more income in mail except books. Well, you know, you should get it before then. So. Yeah. Everything has to be done now in the app. Like the email or letters or pictures, all the ask you don't have. Oh, so I can do it on there now? Yeah, mm -hmm. I already got one. I got pictures from um, my friend Amy from North Carolina, and then um, she sent me pictures of her daughters, and then she sent me letters. Mm -hmm. I try to before. They print the letter and bring the letter to you, is what to do. Pictures they print them. If you like, yeah, somehow you do it, they do it. But I'm not sure. So sure. you didn't get any, you didn't get any from me? Uh, no, because you done it before they activated it on my on my end. You know what I mean? Um. Okay. So. Yeah. I'll make sure I do it again then. Open my door, I gotta find it. Oh my god, it's out. Oh, so I was gonna tell you about my songs. So I gotta mm -hmm. do my songs on the radio. We'll see. Mm -hmm. So then, the rap song, the only one I understood, and like all I know is they kept saying something, and you'd be like, Bay, something, 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 Bay, something, 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 Bay. <laughs> huh? I don't know what that one was. You know, I can't understand that though, so then I turned to station. Um, but then country music, all right, there was, hold on, let me see what country music is called. Um, hold on, let's see. Country music was, oh, the wine, the beer, the whiskey, they always get me. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that one. You got to hear it, it's because the guys, the, the, they're like, I got a friend named Jack. They call him Daniel. <laughs> like Jack Daniels. Or something like oh, that. Mm -hmm. I got a friend named Captain. They call him Morgan. <laughs> so, I like that one. But then, all my gospel songs. Okay. So, gospel songs was uh, a little more like Jesus. I love that one by Zach Williams. Mm -hmm. You know which one that one is? <laughs> no. Wait, where, I think, actually, I think I've heard that before. Yeah, where it's like a little more um, um, mercy, a little more grace, a little patience, kindness, and all that. And it's just a little more like Jesus and a little less like me. That's mm -hmm. a good one. And then um, the one that is my favorite, though, is that there is Jesus with Dolly Parton and Zach Williams. That's the bomb. I like that one. It was. It won a Grammy, according to the commercial. <laughs> and then I like the good God Almighty. You know, the like, is he good? And then it's like, he is good. And it says, is he God? And then the song says, he is God. And it says, good God Almighty. So that's I don't know one. That one what? How do you not know these? Because I, I haven't listened to new ones. 
okay, well, you need to listen to new ones. So you need to go listen to Barry Jesus, with Zach Williams, Dolly Parton. Listen to the new Zach Williams. Uh, how? How can how can Dolly Parton record? She did it with Zach Williams. They always do, you know, like Chris Tomlin did one with Lady Lady Annabelle. Oh. So you got to look it up because it won a Grammy. Um, okay. Barry Jesus was really good. Um. And then, you know, the one where it's like, I see the evidence of your goodness. Oh, yeah, I love that. I love mm-hmm. that one. I kept singing all morning because I had to go to the library at 2.30 in the morning. And that was the only part I knew because I heard it twice yesterday. But, you know, it takes me like, I'll memorize it after about five times. Mm-hmm. I just kept singing, I see the evidence of your goodness. Mm-hmm. You kept saying it. And Arthur Walt, the guy was like, that's the only part you know of it. <laughs> Oh man! I was like, yeah, I just made it back to the world of music, man. I said, I'm still learning. <laughs> now, now that's gonna bother me. What's after that? I know. I gotta find out who sings that one too. I read it on my list to ask you because I need to add it to my phone. Oh, I know. What I need to do. I need you to log into my iHeartRadio, like download the app on your phone, and then log into my account. And then there's somewhere on there that accepts you to get 60 days of of uh, the, the package without paying for it, you know what I mean? Because if you do that, I can make a playlist on my tablet. I can't make a playlist here because when I go to click through the 60 days of premium service or whatever, it won't. It pops up and it says, like, it's blocked by administration. Like, you know what I mean? So, but it has to be done on can another you, another end. Of can you, huh? Can you, can you use, like, Spotify? No, we only got iHeartRadio. Um, so what's the login? So it's the Yahoo account. Okay. And then the password, don't say it, but the password is the normal password with the capital first letter. Okay. And then an estimation point on the end. Okay. But okay. so it should have on there when you log in, it should have a, um, a cool thing that says you want the make your playlist or something for 60 days and it gives you a minute after 60 days or whatever then I was going to make a playlist because it charges 5 cents a minute but by the time you can't go pick a song so if you want to hear a song you got to listen for like 4 songs before you get to that song because they don't have the service oh uh, it's by Josh it's by Josh Broadway. hold on hold on what's it called it's called Evidence and it's by Josh Baldwin Baldwin and it's Josh Bald One B A L D W B A L D W I N yeah. Okay, who sings um It is Low My Soul is Bethel Music, right? Or no? I know, I love that Okay, what'd you say? I'm going to get my older songs too on there. It is well is by Bethel Music, right? Or no. Why don't why don't I just make I can start making it so you can. I mean, you can make it. I, when I log in, it just has to be there. But I know I want the There's Jesus song in there, and I want all of that Williams. Yeah, it's, um, it is well. It's by Bethel Music, so. I got that on there. Bethel Music. Okay, and then Lord, I need you to find you. What? Lord, I need you now. Do that by Um. Matt Maher. Uh, Wait. Mauer. I thought it was Mauer. I was like, Matt Mauer. Yeah. Because like, I love Matt Mauer. Mm-hmm. Because I love all his He's got Rescue Store. And the Rescue Store is that way. Um, Lauren Dangle oh. is Rescue. Yeah, Lauren Dangle is Rescue. Okay, which one is Brother? Let me be your shelter. Um, I think it's called Brother. Yeah, it's called Forever. It's by Need to Breathe. Oh, oh, Need to Breathe. That's right. I forgot about that. Hold well, on, brother. Need to. <laughs> okay, and then Good God Almighty. Oh. I don't know if that's the name of it. I just know that. 
Is that a weird thing? It just says he is good. I think it's good. I think it's like I think it's my Crowder. Oh, that is Crowder. It is Bill Crowder in it. Yep, that's Crowder. It is. I can never, I know the voice now. Um, okay, a little more like Jesus does that, William. All right. And then who sings? Redeem is by who? I'm, I forgot. I told you I was over. Who? Wow. Thank you, your son. Can you believe I forgot that? I know. I, I, it's, it's, by, it's by, um, Right. Mm. <laughs> it's uh, it's that Who? That's William. Oh, that is bad that way. Oh. Okay, open the eyes of my heart. Which one is that one? Open the eyes of my heart. I don't know. Uh, uh, Michael W. Smith. Oh, I got one more gospel, then I got to ask about three countries. Oh, no, that's too many. I'll write about one there. Hold on, Michael. Okay, we the last possible one is Uh, by Ryan Stevenson. You know what I'm talking about? I played Revelation. Oh. I love that one. You know what I'm talking about. Um, Worthy is the man who works. Oh, yeah. Okay, and then I also like, I am a believer. That's a good one, too. <laughs> okay, then the country song that I want you to look up is, I think, One Margarita. I think that's Luke Bryan. It sounds like One him. Margarita? Yeah, I think that's it's Luke Bryan. Bryan. It sounds like him. Okay. Yeah. What about this one? I don't know the name of it. I just know it goes the beer, the wine, the whiskey. They always get me. <laughs> That's mm-hmm. the one that I just about. Little Big Town. Is that Little Big Town? Hey, Little Big Town. So Justin Bieber has some song called Holy. You got to hear that one. And then Carrie Underwood, she's dropping a brand new album on Easter, and it's called My Savior. Ooh. Yeah, so I thought I'd tell you that so that you know the so you know to be like, oh, get <laughs> wait, she said Josh Baldwin was who? Hold on, open up my heart, Lord, is Michael W. Smith. I heard Josh Baldwin somewhere, but I don't know what he's saying. Evidence. Evidence. But those are the songs that I'm trying to put all those on there and then all the other ones I like. You know, by Jack Williams, the Daddy, Matt Mauer, I love all Matt Mauer's music. Oh, one last one. Who sings Missing You, Mississippi? <clears throat> Dustin Bonia. Dustin, what's the last name? S O N N I E R. Is it called Miss Indy Mississippi? Is it the title? Yeah. Okay. Alright. How about can you look in one? Because you know it's going to take me a while to memorize. You have one minute remaining. What song go where? Who's in the mind here? Okay, so I got it. Uh, I heard radio. I told you to do. Did you? Were you able to message Tila? Yeah, she never answered me. You messaged her on Facebook. No, her number. Do you have two five four number? Um, yeah, two five four four two three three five one two. Okay. Maybe I'll message her on Facebook. Yeah. 
and then I'm going to have you next time or a few days when you have um, off, I'm going to have you do my 2020 um, tax thing for me because I do have income. You just do it for me by myself. You can like interpret that completely, everything, but leave the Whitefield School District because I have income from 2020. Okay. And then um, it should be a free one because I ain't claiming to know you watch all this and I'm not. And you did your own taxes. Yeah. Thank and you for using Global Tell Link. Oh my God. Oh, Leticia, I mean, your voice is like torturous enough. Do you really have to sing too? Yeah, and then make the whole entire call with your daughter who, you know, you don't get to see because you're in jail. Make the entire call about you and your music and um, you, your pictures and the letters you can get on the app and just all about you. Oh, and yes. also, don't forget, you have to get a couple favors in, like her, your taxes. Get Harley to do your taxes. You have income from 2020. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Oh, shit. You know what song was stuck in my head when she was talking about the margaritas? I can't, I, I know it's Jimmy Buffett and I just can't give it, get it out. of. I can't like think of the name of the song, but it's, you give me two margaritas. I need one for each hand. Set sail yes. with Captain Morgan. Yes. Hope we never reach dry land. I miss Jimmy Buffett. Yeah, my mom and dad used to play that all, like his whole CD, well, several CDs, all the way yeah. to the beach when I was little. That was like their beach jams. She did say 2020 um, taxes. Rock Paint Lady said, I thought she wasn't aware of 2020. Well, it comes and goes. You know, she has bouts of clarity and uh, being able to know what time it is. She could have worked. That's what, what it uh, is. Two pina coladas. Thank you, Diane. Two, three weeks. I gotta have one. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, one for each hand. Um, but um, she what worked what for up? I mean, it in 2020, she remember she was working. She had to call in on the day that um, Gannon on the day that she did what she did. But there, <laughs> I just can't believe she's uh, that's just comical to me. But whatever. She's ridiculous. She's absolutely ridiculous. You know, look. And also, you know what else I noticed about her? How do, how does she be how does she keep up with what the men are doing? All the time you hear how she'll say, well, they're doing such and such to the women in the jail, but they don't do that to the men. Bro, well, you don't yeah, know I what don't is, know. Is, is, <laughs> this, is your store toilet again? Yeah. Bruh. And but you know there is a thing and I this, remember because um oh sorry go ahead babe I wasn't saying anything I was just saying um, oh okay I remember when um I first had Trenton and I was married and we filed taxes and he was in the coal mines right so he made really good mm -hmm. money but uh, especially for our age but he had only worked like a month or two and because of that of that year that we were filing because he had just gotten that job and I remember they said that he would get if you only work for so long then you get all of your taxes then you, like he got a bunch back that he wouldn't have got if he would have worked the full year oh yeah it's there's all kinds of different uh oh, you're going in and out, Jen. The white, because I uh -oh. hear are you. You can hear me, okay? Because I hear you, you just. You're uh, I can hear you fine. Okay, I think you're coming back, but for a minute, like every half of every word you said was gone. Weird. But now you sound fine. Okay. Say something, Jen. Jen sounds like she's talking in code. <laughs> Bindi, are you there? Hello. You're right, Little Red. 
I love this little chat fam too. Can you guys hear me? I think something's going on with our bendy. Oh, now <laughs> I'm taking over the show. Oh, she's back. <laughs> um. <laughs> It just kicked me out. My own stream yard freaking kicked me out. Just booted me. <laughs> like, what the fuck, bro? And it's still I was like, is it? I don't know if it was me or you or what. So I'm like, chat, can you hear me? Yes, Alex. No, Jen. <laughs> um, can't hear Jen at all, but hear you fine. Well, we hear you now. But what's buffering? Like the where it's at the top where the circle is at the top of the page um, on the tab, it's spinning. Oh, so okay. weird. Oh, listen, Big Weavy, he's in the chat. That's the friend of mine that I told you that I ran into that has a channel. But he said, yeah, he just started trying Streamlabs Talk Studio. It's almost the same as StreamYard. More functions, but half the price. We need to look into that. I'm all right. I do that. need to look into that. Oh, my goodness. Now I don't even remember what I was saying. Oh gosh, I don't remember either. And you were because now all I can think of is bring me to Pinnacle. <laughs> I've gotta have one full rechain. <laughs> now it's stuck. Now we now I we got Bendy singing and Tisha singing. <laughs> I know she's a little. <laughs> I will say this though: she has a she has a weird taste. In, I mean, I don't know. Everybody's taste in music is different. But I, like if I were in there, I'm sure I'd be on some kind of watch list, the kind of music. I bet I listen to all kinds. Like uh, my husband gets used to get irritated with me when I would burn CDs. Remember how, you know, remember doing that back in the day? Because yeah. um, <laughs> I would be having like some some like we, like random ass easy listening song from like the 70s. And then I'd have Marilyn Manson in there. And then I'd throw in some Nine Inch Nails. And then it'd be some throat off rave song I heard when I, you know, when I was a kid, you know, young or whatever. Like he, he he's like, can you just pick a genre? And I would be like, no, yeah, because I, I like, like that them too. all. So I like them all too. I even like some country and um, I like country, you know, and I, that, but look, even that song, I'm not religious, but that song by Justin Bieber, she mentioned, that's a good song. Carrie Underwood is great. However, I don't, it's just frustrating that you're in jail and this is what you're talking to your daughter about, who is literally <laughs> trying to make it on her own at, at a young ass age. It's just, I don't know. It's crazy. She's just so selfish. She doesn't see beyond anything but herself. And that's right. frustrating. It's annoying. She never asks Letitia, oh, and I wanted to say this too because I forgot about this. Okay, so last night when we when she was talking about a radio station and she was talking about Caleb. Okay, I yeah. remember now. I I remember it hit me last night, and then I for, was going to say something and I forgot. But um, in Texas, Caleb, it was the oldie station. Oh, I think they said it was a Christian station in my comments. In Hopefully well, in Texas, in Kay, your ear. no, you didn't. In, yeah. in Texas, we had K Love, and it was an oldie station. I remember it. Oh, Dad, making sense, babe. I hope you I feel better. better. I'm ninety eight percent better. I just wanted to thank you for being on the other end of my tablet. Thank mm -hmm. you, you wonderful ladies, help me through this all, oh, Debbie. Thank you for being here, and I just hope you feel better. Mm -hmm. Oh, I didn't know that. Clicker, so sweet. what? Uh, the Beaver song is a remix of a country song. Yeah, I should have. I, I know that it, I, I mean to read out the comments when I respond to them, but sometimes I have well, you not running the stream. It's my job. I will say but this. Still, the old country that I like is like George Strait, like old, you know. Yeah. Like the chair. Well, That's one of I my like favorites. That, like the old 90s country. Uh, okay. Um, that This would be 80s that. for me. Okay. The chairs from the eighties. <laughs> well, I like the nineties country, like Shania Twain. I do and, too. Um, Tim McGraw and that kind of stuff. But anyway, not a fan of Shania. Gonna I'm not going to lie. Yeah. Uh, oh, yes, wow. ma'am. They're right here. Here we go. What? Are y'all ready? I love Shania. Yes. Okay. So the first <laughs> call is fan. Uh, Amy Lang, and it is 
man i did put like a couple little notes under each call so i just wrote more blood talk more crazy talk did they just oh and that's, that's towards the end of the call yeah just wait you'll see it's it's quite chaotic though okay did they um what? how long is it because i need a sick <laughs> Um, <laughs> I think it's like right about 15 minutes because Perfect. it's at 6.54 a.m. Yeah, and then she calls Harley right after at 7.11. <laughs> and look at the picture <laughs> I, I grabbed. That's, <laughs> that's actually Amy on the interview with Critical K. I went to With the fly Patreon. paper. Mm -hmm. Screenshot her thumbnail. It's off the thumbnail of her Patreon because I'm not a Patreon member, but I could see the thumbnail. <laughs> and then... And then you are, so <laughs> <laughs> you are so resourceful, Allie. You are so resourceful. The flypaper. Thank you. This is the... <sighs> Bruh, I can't even. All right, here we go. I'm playing it. Okay. Okay. Hello. Hey, what's up? I uh, just I trying to get away. You okay. Yeah. Just trying to get away from these people that just keep on so last night they came in right and they took my small intestines out what yeah and it was hurting like really really bad and i was wanting to get it back but they haven't brought it back yet so my brain is just all over the place wanting to go to sleep but they went on to come back to bring my small intestines back but they haven't i think i should have been to sleep at all no, and I tried to tell them that, you know how they were trying to take my, my eyeballs and stuff, my eyes, and I was just like, no, so they made a compromise to take my small intestines, but it really hurt when they took it out, just like a surgery process, and I just, I just want to get it back, and I just, I don't know why they just keep holding me, like, uh, keep holding me hostage in here when um, I, I should not even be here and be held hostage, and then they just keep coming, you know, and if they press the button... For emergency, they can't they can't never like get them out of there because they're like, well, they must have left out the window because they're not here anymore, you know. Now who who is it? Like, do you know who it is or? Yeah, it's Justice. He took my small intestines. And that's okay. Yeah. Okay. So. Oh man. Yeah, and like, I. Okay, so I asked the girl that came by my door. And I was like, hey, I said, can you, do you see him anymore? Do you know, like, how he's going to bring it back to me? And, and she was just like, well, did you hear tapping on your window? And I was like, yeah, I heard the tapping. So, but he never came back, you know? Yeah. That's, that's scary. Yeah. And I, I didn't want to give him eyes, you know? And I just, I like, I like my, I like my sight. How am I supposed to see, you know? If I had to go to the yeah. window, I would see him. But now I probably can't eat because if I don't, if they don't bring you back, how am I going to digest it, you know? Do you think maybe it's just, like, a trick of the mind? No. Uh -uh, it's really gone. I would try to eat yeah. something later. It hurts a lot on the, like, one side. It hurts, like, like I'm walking. I try to go do some, like, I try to do a little bit of uh, sit-up things. I did one, and then I had to get off the thing because I thought if I did that, it might make the other one start working right. But no, you can still feel the pain there. It's missing. Do you do you think it could be just like like demons, like trying to make you think something happened, and it feels like it did, but maybe it didn't? Uh, well, I mean, uh, the thing is, like, whenever they took it. It was a long, like, long string. So, like, I know that they took something. So, I, I don't know. Maybe they didn't take it all. But they did take it because it was, like, a long string. And I could feel it, like, pulling. And I, like, feel like it was pulling, like, out of my stomach and, like, out of my back a little bit. Well, whatever they're trying to do, it sounds like they're trying to, like, break you down. So, you can't let them do that. So, obviously... If that's what they were trying to do, they're trying to make it so you can't eat. So if I were you, try to eat something small later, you know, it's not going to, like, hurt your stomach, something easy, yeah. like, you know, bread or crackers or something. And yeah. just try to stay focused and not stress out about it. I know, because, okay, 
Uh, so last night, you know, I made my little square spot for them to stay in or whatever. And then I was okay. I mean, I might have went to sleep for like an hour and a half or something like that maybe. But we had to get up and come out at 5. But then when I came out for, uh, got ready to come out for breakfast, uh, I kept having this thing where Ty was sitting there, but his arm was missing. And so, like, I hope they didn't go to take his arm. Mm. I think... I I don't think they would have. I think it's probably just a lot of like mind games because you're under a lot of stress right now, and right now would be a really good time for them to try to do, you know, a mental breakdown because things are about to get really intense really fast. This would be a perfect opportunity for them to try to make their way in, you know. Yeah, I uh, I do you know. Do you know Bobby? I don't. Who's that? Uh, Bobby, okay. Uh, so Bobby, he comes sometimes and he talks to the lady beside me. And uh, she just starts just freaking out on him and banging the doors and stuff. But he comes sometimes and he takes the cosmic powers and stuff away from her. So I was wondering if I seen him, maybe I should ask him, but. I don't know. I might try to sleep, uh, but I don't want to sleep because if I go to sleep, they'll probably come back and wake me up. And like when they wake you up, it's like they put your hand, their hand on you, like on your chest, and it's like, <gasps> and like you can't breathe and you pop up, you know. So see, you have to. You're gonna have to get sleep eventually because if you don't, if you don't get adequate sleep, that is going to that is gonna run you down. <laughs> yeah. Like sleep deprivation, that is going to do. That's gonna do you in. Like that's not. Good. Even if it's only like four hours of sleep, you can get in like four hours, but that's that's a good amount to start with. Yeah. You gotta take a little nap where you can, even if it's during the day. Um, but yeah, you gotta you have to focus on trying to sleep and trying to eat. And can you, when you see them, can you do things to distract yourself to make them go away? Like grab a book or turn on the radio or anything like that. Yeah. Well. Uh, they didn't bring my batteries this time, so I have to wait till next Wednesday for my batteries. Uh, and then I ordered cards, but they haven't got here yet. Someone let me borrow their cards the other day. Um, but I beat a bunch of people in cards, so they won't. I can't play at that table because I took um, six pack of cookies from people because I, <laughs> I beat them so much in it. And I just told them that, as like, look, I'm just too uh, too good for this table. But I can't, yeah, and then I had to give cookies back away because then I had six packs and I didn't want to eat six packs of cookies, you know. But, um, you know that disposition thing you asked me about? The other, yeah. The, old, the other investigator, the one, Kate uh, Carlisle, that's the vampire, she has it. Oh, she does? Yeah, 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 she has it. Um, I was just, like, in my notes uh, because... I remember something about that, and then I found it where I had it written down. But, uh, yeah, she has it. She has the one. Uh, so now, is she, she give it to us. Is she, is she on the prosecution side? Or she, okay. Yeah, she was. Okay, so she's a vampire. And so that's why if she came sometime, I'd freak out because we don't like the bad vampires and her family's bad vampire. And she would be like, that's a different spelling. I was like, it doesn't matter if it's a different spelling. It's still the same vampires. You know what I mean? And so... Was she the she, blonde lady? No, this girl has brown hair. And uh, she's actually from Charleston, South Carolina, but... Um, she uh, She lives here now. Okay. Yeah, she's. I couldn't deal with her because she. Every time I just kept thinking about it, like how they just they would bite people, and they bite on living people. And so, like the cool thing about the J group is only on the dead, so you don't have to worry about like the living people. You know what I'm saying? And so um, I didn't agree with her on that, but she assured me that that's not how it worked for her. But she looked just like it. You know what I mean? I didn't like. Yeah. Whenever she was in the courtroom one time, she was like, like full vampire mode, and I had to like, like I, that's the time I threw up in my mask. Yeah, that's, that's gonna be scary. <laughs> I know, like I gagged in my mask, and I was like, she's the full blown on the opposite side, you know? 
But yeah, so yeah. that thing is in there. She has it, and I'm sure I can get it from her. Uh, and because I'm, I'm sure they kept it. Did that um my her lady write you back? She just said, yeah, that's cool. She bring that um my paper. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, she said that she'll bring it. She said um she said absolutely. And then I said thank you. I don't think she said anything after that. Okay, cool. Um, cool. I just like sometimes it's hard to keep it. Oh, to keep it all together because there's stuff biting my head all the time it's like a constant pressure on my head just biting and biting and biting and biting and i ordered some um Tylenol. that'll help <laughs> it sounds like you could use some headache early because you got a lot of stuff going on <laughs> yeah i paid 30 cent for it so it should be here wednesday um, damn i think you wait that long for it yeah you can't they don't you can't ask for nothing here with that band-aid you can't get a band-aid you, you like you just might as bleed Wow. Kind of wraps in the uh, paper towel around you. Yeah. Because there's no way I could, I couldn't do it as long as you have. I, there's no way I could have. Nope. <laughs> one lady beside me, her, like, um, she's having, like, problems with her bladder and, like, stuff like that. And she's been in pain for, like, weeks. And they just keep looking at her, like, you know, basically, whatever. Oh. Uh, yeah. No, I would, I, uh, I don't think I could do it. Like, I commend you for putting up with it as long as you have and still being able to do it because I I'm pretty sure I would have completely lost my sanity like three days in <laughs> yeah well I was watching the people last night um they come in the woods uh behind us and they blink lights and they flash them like one means this and two means this and three means that so I was watching them last night and I thought wow but then I was looking, and there's dudes on the backside over there, and they be putting notes in their doors, and they talk like that. And so I was trying to figure out were they really there or not. But then people knew who they were, and they were like, yeah, they're they're talking through the windows with notes. And like, I was trying to follow all the conversations. There were like 10 of them going on. And so I was trying to figure them out. But then there was also people in the woods, too. And I was just like, how how do you know which person you talk to? Like you got, I mean, it's dark. You got to figure out like which person's got your your lights. You know what I mean? Yeah. Confusing. It is. How do they how do they get them out the window? <laughs> well, you they have these, these letters that they make, and they're like you know like A B C D E F G, and you just put the letters in the window and you spell out stuff. Oh, okay. Yeah. And oh, wow. They do the lights like one, two, three is I love you, uh, and something, something, something. I don't, I don't know who was talking to who, but I just kept trying to figure it out because at first I thought, oh my god, like I know I'm not seeing people in the woods now. This is <laughs> freaking me out, you know what I'm saying? But then I figured it out that um, they really was people there, and you just they put stuff in the windows or something, and I was just like, okay. So I figured out that's crazy. That, those people were actually out there. You know what I mean? I didn't know, like, people actually did that kind of thing, so that's, like, interesting. <laughs> yeah, and then they do it from cell to cell. So, like, because uh, it's, like, adjacent. And so then they do it from cell to cell, too, like, window, window. Hmm. Yeah. Have you, um, have you made, like, any friends or anything there yet? Or, like, have anybody to talk to? I don't, I'm not really allowed to do that right now because if I'm back in, um, there's a J group, I'm not really allowed to unless their name starts with J or they join our group. And, um, I kind of was back and forth about whether I should do that or not. And then I just finally decided when I just gave up all powers yesterday and just told them, okay, fine. Um, so it'll be time for okay so i have to do every time every month i have to do like the, the drink the blood the initiation thing like every month mm -hmm. uh, so it so like it starts from the first and then you you have to keep going all the way for the week but i'm probably gonna wait to do it because easter you know is not a good time you know like when in the bible days they did sprinkling of the blood and stuff like that and that we don't do that anymore so I'm not going to do it. Like, right now, I'm going to probably wait till next week. You know I mean? Yeah. Um, yeah, and then, um, but I'd like to beat everybody at cards. So 
so people kind of get like, eh, eh, eh. I'm like, listen, I played cards in a lot of places. I've won a lot of money playing cards. Like, come on, guys, bring on some competition here, you know? <laughs> they're probably mad because if you played against a guy, they're probably pissed if the girl won. Fuck <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. I noticed men get pissed. You have one minute remaining. You notice they what? I notice, like, when you play, like, competitive sports against men, like, if a chick wins against them, they get pissed. <laughs> I know. Like, it just, I don't know. I'm just, like, because I called them out on their bluff, like, three times because someone tried to cut a spade, uh, and then they said they didn't have clubs, and then we got on. I was like, oh, hell no. No, nah, that's less it. I was like, you, you don't cut that earlier. No, what do you mean? I was like, I counted them. Sure enough, <laughs> I kept, like, you know, losing them. And I was just like, cards help my brain because it's constantly being able to go. But we only have a small yeah. amount of time to play it. And so it helps my brain because it keeps, like, going and, and helps it, like, stimulate it. <gasps> Holy smokes. This girl is... Oh, my gosh. She... Did they just bite her ear off? Did what? They... <laughs> Did you just get your ear bitten off? No. Oh, my God. What? Hey, I, I'm going to go... Thank you for using Global Telling. <laughs> Bruh. You let it go to the next one. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, that first call was that April first? Was she April Fools in a April second? No, it, 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 it was April second, actually. Um and yeah, I know, and it continues because the next call is directly after this with Harley. And it's the same thing. And many people were talking about Tisha's voice in that. Um, her voice was even worse in this next one. She does this different voice when she's doing this oh crazy thing. God. And then um, the thing right there, that's a from the meme contest. Because if you remember, yes. um, she was messaging us saying that she was watching football and she had this boyfriend. And people were like, yeah, right. You don't have a boyfriend. And Wolfie made that George Glass video from Brady Bunch. Yes. So yes. somebody made this meme with her on the bed. And then if you look in the back behind her, that's me in the, in the mug shot <laughs> on the wall. And then, and then the football <laughs> Oh, Tisha. I'm, this is driving me nuts, this thing that's spinning. I'm going to be, just give me a second. I'll be right back, you guys. This is driving me nuts. Hold on. Okay. Um, Jacinta says, I would love a coffee session with you gals, my kind of women, all well most on here, compassionate, smart, and bloody hilarious. Keep bringing it all. I would love that, too. <clears throat> yeah, did you just get your ear bitten off? Oh, yeah. And then, so if you guys remember, I played a call on my channel, like a sneak peek of a call where she talks about her intestines coming out. That is the next call. And um, it continues with with the same. And then, you guys, the call after that is a double whammy of Aunt Brenda and Harley because they are together. Because they're, if you remember, Aunt Brenda was supposed to be going to stay with Harley for Easter. Oh, that's right. So not this second call, but the third one, it's both of them together. And then the one after that, we have, we have to get through at least these. Because the one after that is Harley and Tisha and Harley talking about Brenda coming to stay with her. So, Oh, my God. Okay. Pretty. Well, we will get through them. Barbie's <laughs> Floppy Possum. Thank you so, so much. I appreciate that so much. Thank you. So super generous. Thank you very much. Very sweet. Very, very sweet. I appreciate that. And I missed, um, hold on a minute. Let me, I missed uh, Lil Red super sticker. And I appreciate that so much, Lil Red. That's so generous of you. And I miss Michelle giving her four member shout out so thank you guys so very much i appreciate that i'm so gl so blessed to have all of you guys you're the best uh thank you jacinta welcome to the ward i'm gonna make a little video or something whenever uh, you guys join i have to think about it though 
Um, yes. Hold on a sec. I have to figure out what to, yeah. what I want to do. You guys are so sweet. But Letitia's just off the chain talking about Ty and he's missing an arm. He's missing period, mm-hmm. Tisha. He don't exist, ma'am. Ugh. What about she's the, so um, you know, she's a vampire that the only, she wanted, she went, the J group only feeds on dead people. But right. And she talks about that woman in the court that made her throw up in her mask. Yes. And then yes, Amy's yes. like, and the intestines. Amy's like <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And Amy's like, well, you got to make sure to sleep. And it's like, <laughs> really, Amy? You think that's going to, I don't know. Yeah. This. And then the towel. That's what her like, problem oh, is. Oh, you'll definitely need that. Yeah, it's the sleep. <laughs> Here, here's a little bit of a spoiler alert, Letitia. I don't know if you're aware of this or not. You probably are, you know, since you're the smartest person in every room that you're in. Um, but uh, if you don't have a small intestine, you, you don't need Tylenol because you're not going to be able to absorb it properly. Just just wanted to point that out there, ma'am. <laughs> you know, yeah, just in case like, you're yeah, worried. Tal- Talent, you that will help because you got a lot going on. <laughs> yeah, yeah. People biting her head all day, intestines missing. You know. <laughs> yeah, she's got a list of shit. <laughs> yeah, Tylenol. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> yeah, Tylenol. <laughs> Bad news bears in Letitia land. Are y'all ready to hear this next call? Yes. Are you ready? Okay, sorry, right. that you're still so funny. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. They're from my boyfriend, George Glass. Sure, Jan. Here we go. Yeah. This call is from a correction facility and is subject to monitoring and recording. Thank you for using Global Tell Link. Hello. Hello. Hey. What are you doing? At work. Oh, working? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Oh, this, okay, so they took my, they, they took my intestine out last night, and I was waiting on them to bring it back so I could eat some breakfast. What? Yeah, so I was asleep, and, okay, so I contained them in this little spot where I put these little four corners where they can't leave out of there. And I don't understand. Sometimes they just still come back and wake me up. It woke me right up oh, on my chest. And then I was like, I'm trying to take my eyeballs yesterday. But I was like, no, I really wanted to have my eyeballs. So finally, make a long story short, we compromised and they took my intestine. So it hurt really, really bad. But I'm going to eat a Pop Tart whenever um, they bring it back. I'm just waiting on them to bring it back. Oh. Yeah, I just, uh, I got a Tylenol because it just, like, they, like, start biting at my head, and the thought wakes me up, but I need to wait till Wednesday to get the Tylenol. Mm. Yeah, I hate, oh, gosh, wait, where, where, where are you at? Where? Oh, how's Burke? Good. What have you been up to? Nothing. Nothing. You're at work uh, already? Mm-hmm. Why are you at work already? Because I have to come in the line. Oh. Oh, oh okay, okay. No. Oh, you have a swim at work? Mm-hmm. Oh, can't you be like, I need a break. Mm-hmm. I'm going to go swimming. But you don't really like swimming in- anymore. No. I wonder how people go to the water park with a mask. <laughs> <laughs> no, I froze. So, like, I saw on the news that they are by. to open back up um, California. Do they have a waterproof mask? And like, if you get underwater, how are you breathing? I mean, obviously you're still holding your nose, but some people like breathe a little bit outside their mouth, you know? 
Well, you can still open your mouth. I know, but, phone. sir, you on, like, the things, and you're like, hold on, guys, got to put my mask in my bathing seat. I'm going down the slide. Because <laughs> remember, they wouldn't let us put our GoPro, but then I hid the GoPro inside my boots. <laughs> mm, I have to look it up. Huh? I said I'll have to look it up. I know, that's a good question, huh? Like, hmm, where the parks? Because then you're in the wave pool and it's going to be like, phew, everybody's mask is thrown off. You're like, which mm -hmm. mask is yours? Oh, I ended up at 5 o'clock in the morning, but then I didn't go to sleep till like 3 o'clock. Uh, because it'd be like, you know, all this stuff going on. Oh, they had the dog come in here the other day. Huh? Yeah, he came in my room, sniffed, and ran away. I was like, you know, that's right, boy. I said, you know, there ain't no drugs up in there. You better keep going. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, he was um a canine dog. You know they're going to have bulletproof fists for canine dogs? Or they have them? Mm. That's cool, ain't that's it? Cool. It protects the dogs. Mm. Mm. I know. Mm. Uh, this lady from South Carolina, her name is Fern Michaels. She's an author. She, like, uh, started diet. Oh. I know. I mean, don't go by Sadie, Sadie Bullet Professor. She don't need one, but like, you know. <laughs> How is she doing? Good. Good. All right. Well, I hope you have a wonderful day. You too. Hey. Hmm. I miss you. I miss you too. What's wrong? Nothing. Are you laughing at me? No. Oh. Better not be. I, um, I gave you, I sent another visit to you so I can talk to you a lot on Easter. Okay. 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 My hair is, like, to my butt. Mm. Yep. I guess what? I ate two bags yeah. of Jolly Ranchers. <laughs> Yeah, two. But I can't eat any more of them. Because I get too sick. You know what I mean? Yeah. And don't listen. If they, they shouldn't come where you are, but they try to come take your intestines. You just tell them no because they already took mine. Okay. Okay? Okay. All right. I love you. Did you go to church? Yeah. Okay. All right. Me too. All right. Love you. Love you. I talk to you tomorrow. Okay. Okay. Bye. Bye. Mm -mm. Yeah. Why does she do that to Harley? She said, so, I don't why? know. Why? Why come, Tisha? Why come? I, I don't know. Uh, it's honestly, it's infuriating. It is such bullshit, and and Harley's tone is just. Ugh. I think I Harley's had enough. To. It's hard to I listen to. No, oh, I mean, here she is at work. What are you doing at work? Um, working. Fuck yeah. out of here! And now we get to the truth. She. She's been lying this whole time, talking about she ate three Jolly Ranchers and it made her sick. Now she ate a bag. There's the truth. Yeah. Jeez. Yep. Okay, look at my picture for this next call, though. Pensatucky even thinks Tisha stinks. <laughs> <is thinking. laughs> well, as far as the as the canine goes, the the, the drug dog, um, when she said he sniffed and ran away, all I could think of is Smokey. The weed be letting you know. Evil lurk. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. I feel like that dog is like evil lurks. <clears throat> That's why. <laughs> She's so ridiculous. Oh, so Coco cutie. I am so glad you guys like I tried to just because it's 
some of this stuff like that call it's tough to listen to and when I get Jen mm-hmm. laughing like it just tickles me so much <laughs> so <laughs> that's the goal <laughs> I do I course, do but. your thumbnails I really do I um I can't do the whole creative thing that like you can with the thumbnails I mean I can I just for whatever reason Tisha is so oh, dark. Are you kidding me? T- no, Jen, you do a different kind of creative. You are incredible at them now. Thank you. Thank you so much, babe. I wish I could find the levity in Tisha Lynn. I really do. I can't. Her aura is so dark that whenever I go to make a thumbnail, like the thumbnail I made today, dark. Couldn't even. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, did, I took the color away, all of it, except for her name, because she's just that dark. I just, ugh. I can't. Right. Yeah, but Tisha, you do probably Thank stink. You. She's talking about my hair's down to my butt. Bitch ain't been washed yet. Ugh. She's so <laughs> gross. <laughs> the way Tisha's looking back at her. Right. It actually looks like they might be having a conversation. <laughs> I know. <laughs> and look, this one is eight, Brenda and Harley. <laughs> oh, boy. Ain't oh, Brenda. You, Brenda. Ooh, we get a double whammy. Ain't Brenda and uh-huh. Harley. Aw, thank you. <laughs> Catherine, I love this community of funny, smart, and compassionate people who can see through like Tisha's evil and nonsense. I love you all. Well, thank you, Catherine. We love you, too. And Nana Banana. Yeah. Thank you so much. Oh, Nana. Being a member for five yeah. months. Lil Red, Jin Lu, have you figured out which demon rides on her shoulders daily? I'll tell you, um, I I watched um, Nefarious, uh, the one with Sean Patrick Flannery, Flannery from um, the Boondock Saints. He's in other stuff too, but most notably Bo- Boondock Saints. Anyway, um, y'all, that is going to be an actually. Sh- Sean did a very good job acting. It's about a man on death row who's possessed. He did a really good job in the acting. The movie was just terrible. Um. But I think that might be the demon that has, or whatever the demon, what's the demon from uh, The Nun and from uh, from the Conjuring series? Uh, starts with a V. Well, I don't know. The Defiler. I, I can't remember what the name. It'll come to me. Maybe it will come to me while I play this call. Are you ready? I'm ready. Um, yes. I did have something I was going to say to you, but okay. then I lost my train of thought, so... Hopefully it'll come back to me and I'll tell you later. (laughs) (laughs) All right, here we go. Okay. Please hold. Hello. Hello. This is a prepaid debit call from... All the beginning out. I like it. An inmate at the El Paso County Criminal Justice Center. To accept this call, press zero. To refuse this call... This call is from a correction facility and is subject to monitoring and recording. Thank you for using Global Telling. Hello. Hey. Hey. I was just going to say y'all have a good day. Did y'all eat? Hold on. Hold on. Let me put you on. What'd you say? I said, did y'all eat? Um, we're about to. Oh, I was going to show you my lunch. Cookies and chips. (laughs) What was it? Cookies and chips. Wait, you can eat again? Uh, that, we just got lunch just now. Cookies. Well, I don't eat the meat or the bread. So I eat the cookies, chips, and the carrots when we get carrots sometimes. But then I don't eat dinner, so I'm going to save it until like 3 o'clock. So I can eat another bag of chips for dinner and then eat breakfast in the morning. But you can buy you something. You got money on your account. Buy you something, darling, don't you? Yeah, like I bought um, like chips and stuff like that. But like, like you can't buy food, food. It's just snacks you buy. You know what I mean? So I got it. I'm mean, eat that for. I'm mean, eat a pickle and chips for dinner. Can you buy stuff to drink? No, no, they don't have drinks. I like water though. I'm fine with water. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I'm fine with water. I drink water and then the coffee. Sometimes I drink the coffee. All right, well, 
I wish I was eating crab legs. <laughs> I wish you were eating crab legs, too. Well, if Okatami was here and I was there, we'd go eat crab legs while y'all go eat your craziness. Yeah, y'all, y'all just got into that crab leg stuff. I never could get into it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Okatami loves him some crab legs. Uh, he's probably eating them. You know that. He's probably eating them in heaven today because you know it's basically like crab legs and like steak, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. You sound better than you did earlier. I know. I get. I go stir crazy in there like all day because you don't like I know. Out for a long time and I go and, stir crazy. And do you need some books or anything? Or you got books? Uh, or? I got some. Um, I got off the book card. I'll read those before I get any more for a little bit. Okay. Yeah. Always, well, always let Holly know when you need books. Yeah, yeah, I will. I will. Well, she has to order them. I mean, she knows how to order those things. I don't know that much about ordering stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Maybe you'll get your visit thing set up too while you're down there. Yeah. If I don't, if I don't, I'm coming back. I got to come back down here Friday. Yeah. Um, and take care of some stuff with Harley. Yeah. yeah. And um, we'll get it hooked up. Okay, okay, okay. Um, that lady is going to go to Myrtle Beach, uh, Caitlin, and she's going to go get that phone because uh, we already got the phone, the iCloud on the phone, and then she's going to go get that phone because that's not evidence to get out, and she's going to go get it. But she's going to call you, Harley. Uh, before she flies to Myrtle Beach. Who's Caitlin? She's my uh, she's on my team, like on my defense team. Her name's Caitlin. Caitlin. Yeah, Caitlin Picard. She's she's just gonna call you mm-hmm. beforehand, so um, you can give her the passwords for my accounts. Mm-hmm. That's all. That's all she needs from you. It's just the passwords for. You know the password. Just add three on the end. You know, okay. I'm about, you know, I'm talking about three of, you know, what on the end. That's all she's going to need for you is her oh. password. Okay. That's all she needs to be used the password. All right. Love you guys. I love you too, baby. I miss you. All right, miss you too. Y'all have a good day. Hey, just as soon as, hey, uh, Lynn, just as, soon as you can have visitors, whenever you can, I'm you not doing, sure you I'm like not doing visitors, you think, Brenda. I'm not doing visitors. That's why we're doing video. Well, you can, do vi- you can do video all you want to, but when you start seeing visitors, you let me know so I can fly out. Hey, Brenda, I just said and told you we're not doing, because of the, because of my security, there's no there's going to be no in-person visits. I said if they do start. Oh, yeah, no, I already told them I don't when want they do, when they When they do start. Okay, Brenda, but I'm telling you I don't want any because of my security. So I don't want any in person. That's why I'm trying to get everybody to sign up for WebEx. I don't need any in person. It's not good for my mental health. But um, yeah. Plus two, it, it raises too much of security issue. So <clears throat> anyway, well, I hope y'all have a well, good day. Know, well, you know, well, you know, well, you know, I'm here. I know you, like Brenda. I know that you're all. You're the only family member I got besides Harley. Trust me, I know. <laughs> Well, well, you know I'm well, you know, you know I'm here. Yeah, I know. So you know, I'm just a phone call away. I know. Me up for me up for Harley. I know. And I appreciate everything you do for helping me and for helping Harley. And this will be over as soon as what you call it. Caitlin's been really good. She's uh she's a bomb person who's got everything, you know, handled for me and helps me in any questions. And so, you know. It'd be fine. I don't worry about it anymore. I just got to stay sane from being inside. You know what I mean? I just got to keep my sanity from freaking out, going stir crazy. That's all. That's all I got to have okay. right now. So, um, all right. You guys be safe. Have, um, take care of the doggies. Get them an Easter egg. You can go get them a pup cup. We, we did. We just went and bought both Trader and Sadie an Easter egg thing. Oh, okay. Cool, cool. I bet they love that then. So give Sadie some more for wine. For all right, give Sadie some more her wine. Okay, love y'all. Love you. Love you, Bye. baby. Love you. Be Bye. careful. Bye. Bye. Bye.
Oh my God. Shut up, Tisha. Now she's got her intestines back. She doesn't eat she she doesn't eat bread or meat, but will eat an entire package of Jolly Ranchers. Yeah, and um rude as hell to Aunt Brenda. Yes. Who, to Aunt Brenda, who is taking care of you and your daughter. I mean, damn, you can't even hold yourself back and be polite for a phone call. You cannot right. even control yourself that much. Jesus. I, right. Uh, you you couldn't even say, all she had to do was say, thank you, Aunt Brenda. I appreciate that. And let it, leave it there. Yeah. Instead, she has to pop off at the mouth and be like, I told you, Aunt Brenda, I don't want visitors. It's a cardiac race. It's a cardiac race. Shut up, Tisha. Just shut up. Although, if you shut yeah. up, we wouldn't it's be here listening to you. Right. <laughs> not good for her mental health. Meanwhile, you just called your daughter earlier and told her that the vampires had come and taken your intestines and for her to be on the lookout in case they tried to t take hers. Just say no. Yeah. That they've she already taken Lord, mine. <laughs> yeah. You're right, though. Shut up, Tisha. But then we wouldn't be here listening to you. <laughs> sure wouldn't. Sure wouldn't in your nonsense. All right. So... so you think one more call? No, we have. Yeah, whatever you want. That'll be fun. This one is going to be good because it's it's not all they talk about, but they do talk about Brenda's visit with Hartley. And oh. you see, we have Zoolander Tisha here. Yes, yes, so. yes. And her. <laughs> Every I time just, I look at that face. <laughs> I just came from the ophthalmologist and they dilated the shit out of my eyes. Glasses. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Oh, my God. Exactly. Sheesh. All right. You ready? This is the last call, yeah. you guys, and then I'll let you guys go for the night. Here we go. Thank you for using Global Telling. Hello? Hey, what you doing? Nothing. What have you been up to? Nothing. I was off today, and I worked out. Oh, Okay. I just got to come out. I was being so crazy earlier. They'd be putting these things in a vent, and it's like this smell and this perfume, and it. They. So I was glad what? they finally opened the door. Yeah, so like some days it smells like perfume or like blossoms, and some days it's like poison. You said they do what now? They put, like, okay, so there's these vents you can talk to people through, but then they put this stuff in the vents that, like, get you to sniff it. And they want you to, like, you know, get crazy off of it and stuff. So I just, this one lady, I just had to call her son for her because she was sniffing the vents. Oh, she got, she got crazy off the vents or whatever because the stuff they kept putting in and she fell and got hurt and hurt her foot and she's in a wheelchair. So I just called her son for her so she could, he would know he's a Marine. So he would know what was going on because they be doing that stuff to hurt people, you know? Oh. Um, have they done that to you? Well, I smelled it and stuff like that, but then I was choking and I couldn't hardly breathe, so I just put my mask over my face and just sat there and mm -hmm. kept holding my breath, holding my breath. Yeah. Isn't that illegal? I don't know. Yeah, so when the dude, he came on the phone after I told him, he was like, I'm going to put money back on your account. I know who you are. I was like, you don't owe me any money. He was like, I'm a child of God. I was like, we help each other out in here. Everybody for themselves in here. And they're trying to kill us. And so he was just like, okay, thank you so much. What? Yeah. She's in a wheelchair and she's below me. And the other girl's in a wheelchair and she's on the other side. So uh -huh. I just ain't want to be in no wheelchairs now. Yeah. Anyways, did anybody go home? Yeah. She did? What is she coming back for? I don't know. I told her that I had work today so that she would leave. Oh. Because she, she was hired? making herself she was making herself too comfortable. <laughs> then I got yelled at and I'm pretty sure she's trying to play me and put a, a lean on the car. But I'm not finding any paperwork. Trying to frame you? No, play me. Oh, play you? Why does she want to lean on the car tour? I know. She told me that the lean on the car was 
so that I couldn't, sell. she wants to sign the title over to my name and then Alina Lacar was supposedly so that I couldn't sell it or like trade it in. But then I looked it up and Aline, so she must have like borrowed money for something and using it as collateral or something. I don't know. I read something online. Okay, but she can't put a lien on something if she borrowed money on it. On a car that she bought in full. Yeah, I know. If she paid in full, she can lien, put a lien on it where you can't do anything to it. But if she borrowed money on it, then now the bank would then own it, and they would be the lien holder. So just don't. She, you know how she hoodoo stuff. You know how she hoodooed me out of the house. And yeah. all that stuff, you know what I mean? So just don't. <laughs> Just don't, like you said, don't sign anything. If she if she signs your name to something, you know, that's you can always get that deleted because that's, that's illegal. You know what I mean? But she ain't going to be stupid enough to do nothing like that. You know what I mean? Right. She ain't going yeah. to sign your name up. She's your grandpa, so that was different. She was his caretaker. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He wasn't in his right mind. I mean, we all have times when we're not in our right mind. Trust me, my hair is still in braids and I'm still going crazy of the stuff they got going on these vents trying to kill us. What? Yeah, I'm thinking that she just was thinking of the wrong thing. I don't know. Because I don't think she'd do that. But we'll see. Yeah, not, I mean, not with that. She she might be going to want to sign it over to you, but she might be trying to put a lien on it herself. And what she would do is, if she signs it over to you, it would I just think, go to the, the I think, county. Yeah, I think she means to do it in like a way where like it's in my name. Because it's for insurance purposes where it's in my name, but she still has like some say so. Yeah. Or something. I don't know. We'll see. But my phone's gonna die. Okay. Oh my god. They always tell us to lock down for everything. We never get to come out. This is why we go stir crazy and freak out in here and flipping stuff. And then the people, the people in the, for the Mexican mafia are like determined that I have to join the Mexican mafia, and I'm not about to do we'll that. Tell them, we'll tell them. We'll tell them now. All right, I gotta go lock down for this, and I'll try to call you back because there was stuff I had to tell you. But I okay. okay, love you. Bye. Love you, bye. My God. Um. Yeah. <laughs> May, okay. So I had put in the chat that uh, that was ugly of Harley, like the way she acted towards Brenda. But then again. Harley is being told by Tisha all the time that Brenda is trying to do her dirty and that mm -hmm. she's crazy and this and that. But, you know, I just didn't like hearing her saying, like, yeah, I lied to her and told her I had to work so she'd leave. She was getting too comfortable. And, you know, that's just like, oh, she's like the one person that's helping you. She's your elderly aunt. I mean, I get right? it that sometimes those people can be pushy and annoying, but for me, I just accept them for who they are. I mean, you, I don't know. I just would, I don't know. I would not be like that. But. Yeah, no, I would not either. I, I, I but I, I mean, there's part of me that kind of gets it with Harley. Aunt, Aunt Brenda does do a lot of things. And I, right. Harley, I don't think she is. Yeah. And I, I don't think she's trying to put a lean on the vehicle. What she's trying to do is, give Harley enough, give Harley ownership so she can get insurance in her name, but not allow Harley to sell or trade the vehicle in without Aunt yeah, Brenda's permission. Yeah, I'm sure she's not trying to do, I don't know. I Who knows? But I, I agree with you because Brenda can be very pushy on Harley and stuff. And then, like I said, Tisha is constantly beating it in Harley's head that, like even she said just now, She's right. trying to hoodoo you or something like that, you know. So, of course, she's going to believe that to a degree. And she's young. I don't know that she's at the point of maturity yet where you're like, even though my old, you know, great aunt is annoying, she's good to me and she's older and she may not be along, around long. So I'm going to be good to her anyways. That takes maturity to get to that point. You know what I mean? So Yeah, it does. And I also think that um, while... Letitia and Aunt Brenda may have been close at one time when Letitia was younger, right? It's not the same for Harley. I don't think that Harley right. grew up knowing Letitia's family like that, you know? And um and I and so I think that 
what you said, you know, the patience that does come with maturity, but also yeah. <clears throat> there's an element of like, you know, how you have, you know, family members that you've known your whole ass life. Right. And you know, when they come around, how they're going to act, right? You know, you're familiar with their brand, good, bad, or indifferent, you know. And so, so you just sort of are like, well, that's just, you know, ain't so-and-so, or that's just uncle right. so-and-so, you yeah. know what I mean? And I feel yeah. like Harley would might have a little bit more patience if she sort of uh, knew. But also, again, you have Letitia triangulating MFers in here and, yep. um, you know, pitting those two against each other because she never yeah. wants them comparing notes. Yeah, and she doesn't want to, like, it's, because she gets jealous, too, and it's pretty yes. sad, because it's, it's like, Tisha, you're putting her against the only person that's really helping her, um, which brings me to right. a point that Pointer Lover made in the chat, which you've talked about a little bit before, Pointer Lover said, if, if Harley doesn't like it, don't take her money then, you know, and the opinions are all right. over in the chat, but once you do start taking someone's money, it things change a little bit when it comes to you that got, yeah when you take anybody's money you got to take their shit and that's just the truth that's just how it works yeah but i'll you know i think that um i think a lot of things are going on with between harley and brenda all the time you know what i mean and i think that um it's unfortunate and i feel badly for harley that all she really does have as far as family goes is Aunt Brenda because of who yeah. her mom is and the kind of person she is. And somebody yeah. in the chat asked, let me see if I can find it. Um, good night. Uh, coolest review. Thanks for stopping in, bud. Um, hey, Papa Elvis Claus. Uh, that hey. sounds like so much fun. A bonfire Papa. with friends. Yeah, that does sound like fun. I'm going to say this wrong. H says, hi, H. Hi, H. I think H is right. Oh, Maybe somebody, maybe you can put it in the chat phonetically for me. So I don't like, it's my first day reading. What is it? Yeah. Oh, I was thinking height. Height. That maybe it's height. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe. Yeah. yeah let us know. Where are Tisha's mom and dad? Well, they are uh, not together. Um, her, uh, Letitia speaks to her dad, Kenny. Um you know, may, maybe once or twice a month in these calls. Uh, she's forever nagging him about some books. And then uh, Letitia's mom doesn't have anything to do with her. And according to Letitia, that's like par for the course. That's how it's always been. That's why she uh, grew up with Aunt Brenda kind of raising her. Um, because she's not close with her mom. So that's where they're at. Mayla's mom says, I think Harley thinks she's a grown adult and doesn't need the wisdom of an adult. I do not like the way she treats Brenda at all. And that, like, it's so interesting because the opinions are all over, which I love that about our little mm -hmm. community because people can disagree and they don't like fight about it because in some of these, like, remember the Watts community? Yes. It was nonstop fighting over details of the case and over opinions. Why? fight with like I don't know I just I'm not gonna get mad at somebody because they think differently than me yeah um it's just silly but yeah I'm glad we can I'm glad you guys are chill in the chat and we can you know you guys can all we can all agree to disagree none of look, the truth of the matter is I would imagine I would I would imagine that all of us on some level are all right you know because I think people, you know, I, I think there's a, a, a bit of both. I think, you know, I think that uh, Harley is, you know, 18. She's a new adult. And you know how it, you remember how it is to be 18. You think you know everything. Look, I got pregnant when I was 18 with my first son. And I could, and my mom and dad were like on the ceiling with the fretting. And that I would, that could, they were just so worried that I, because I was pregnant. And I remember saying to them, what's the big deal? I'm pregnant. What do you think I'm going to do with the baby? You know, give it to the pizza hut delivery guy for a, as a tip. What, I mean, what do you think I'm going to do? You know, but when I look back on it, 
because I'm roughly the age, well, there's 25 years between me and my parents. So yeah, if I was 18, yeah, they would have been 46, right? Is that right? 18 plus 25? 43. 43. Yeah, 43. Let me make sure. Yeah, 43. Okay, so I'm a little older than they were, all right? But if one of my babies came to me at 18 and said that they were going to have a baby, I would be worried too. Now I get it, but I didn't at the time. I It was... Like, it was such an insult. Why are you so worried? What do you th what do you think is going to happen? You know? Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Even Trenton's starting to do that. And he's only 15, but like he already knows everything. I mean, yes. He, oh, that's very frustrating. <laughs> it's very frustrating. The worst day of my parenting life was, and it seemed like it just was an overnight situation. I went from being the smartest woman on the planet to the dumbest. And I used to tell them, if you're, why do you ask me the question? Yep. If you already, if you think you already know the answer, what is this? Some kind of test? What you're giving yeah, me yeah. tests now? I got to pass some shit now. Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> but exactly. That's exactly how it is. Oh my God. Yeah. Um, well, I wonder when we'll do the next batch of calls. And it's I have to finish you, April. Well, just with the trial and stuff. And tomorrow, if Sleuth Mom's going to come on with us, even though yes. there's no trial. Well, since there's no trial, we could maybe do it earlier, or like in the daytime or something. But Ooh, we could do that. I don't. We could do that. What? Just let me know. Listen, you know that I am flexible and I will uh, click a link whenever you're ready. Okay, well, let's think about it, and then I'll okay. let you know. And um, after we get off here, I got to go and check messages, emails, comments, and I'll think about it, and then I'll get with you tonight before I go to bed right. and let you know. Sounds um, like a plan. I do got to say, though, uh, like the way we've been doing it lately has been just so fun. I've just loved it so much. Me too. And it's really interesting. I don't get any comments anymore about the commentary. Neither do I. Yeah. Neither do I. Neither do I. I, I it's been really nice. It's been really, really nice. I, I've had I I like um doing the calls this way and um I I'm having fun. I like your overlays, they crack me up. And um yeah. you know, we're just I, I I'm enjoying it, just taking it easy and not having to do I, I'm glad that we um, aren't doing like all the calls back to back to back to back because although I didn't not like doing that I mean it wasn't it sounds I didn't like it it's just that especially when there's a lot of calls like this where Letitia is you know trying to pretend like she's off her rocker now what I think she's doing in that call and I forgot to mention this is <clears throat> I think that her voice change i believe what she's trying to do is mim is pretend like she's uh taylor that alternate mm, personality okay. because she's the nicer one and kind of you know talks that's sort of what i imagine that she's trying to do um i think you know i think that's why because she knows she's being recorded you know yeah. So, oh, absolutely. She's That's just exactly playing games, but she doesn't give a rat's fat kneecap about what the, hearing things like that might do to Harley. She doesn't care because she, it's all about her end game. Yep. Absolutely. You know, you guys are just so sweet in the comments. I was trying to listen to Jen, but, and I agree with you. It is all about her end game, which is, she doesn't see anything outside of that. Nothing not even her own daughter and her well-being and the fact that she's about to start her life as an adult. She's starting her life as an adult. This is like big time. These are big moments. Yes. And it's just like, oh, it's unbelievable. But yeah, I was also reading the comments and you guys are just so freaking sweet. I appreciate you guys so much. You just don't know. Yes. You guys are incredibly supportive, incredibly sweet. And we both appreciate you guys just so much for that because there was a few there's 
there was a few times in January where Allie and I were just like, just, it was too much, you know? So. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It was a rough, it was a rough time for a moment, a moment. Yeah, it was. Um, it oh, was. you got some ropes, uh, claws. They are so good. The watermelon one, somebody else got some too. And <laughs> from, cause of B crumbs always talking about them. B crumbs loves sweet tart ropes and she, <laughs> she's got everybody eating them. It's pretty funny. I've not she tried a sweet tart them. rope. Now I do like a nerd's rope. Oh, you need to try the sweet, t- the watermelon berry is so good. They are, they have all kinds of flavors though. Cherry, strawberry, um, just all kinds of different ones, but the watermelon bear, it's like watermelon and strawberry. Oh my gosh. It's so yummy. Ooh, I have to talk There's big rounds. Look. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Um, oh, I love you. <laughs> okay. I love so, all you guys. Good night, Alex Erickson and Jen Liu and everyone. And it's said like the letter H. So H is how you say it. H is how you pronounce her name. H or wow, okay, his cool. or her name, their name, I should say, because I might want to. I don't know for yeah. sure. H. Cool. Thank you. Oh, I love the airhead bikes too. Oh, I love the airhead ropes too. They're very good. Um, but those sweet tart ropes are bomb. But y'all know right now right I'm on those um white chocolate Reese's. I need to slow down because. <laughs> It's My husband so is They're on so the the chocolate egg, or you know, the egg shaped Reese's because of uh oh yeah, because of Christmas. So too. Yeah, he. Well, I, I can eat, I can forth. only eat like one or two of those because I'm not really a. I don't. I like chocolate, okay, and I like peanut butter, but I don't. I only like. I only. It's not my favorite. You know what I mean? I like it, but it's like a one and done, kind of like those Cadbury oh, cream eggs. I like a Cadbury well, I, cream egg, but I can only do one and done for like the entire Easter season. Oh, I know what you mean. And They're peeps. So rich. Well, see, I'm like that with a lot of chocolate, but not with the Reese's. But I go back and forth. I'll go through phases where I'm like wanting the white chocolate and then the chocolate. But um, the best part, because they're like the holiday Reese's, they're not like the cups. You know what I mean? Yes, they're, they're shaped like a tree. And you get way more peanut butter. And yeah, they're just so good. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm, I like, I'm a classics girl. I like the Skittles original flavors, Mike and Ike. Um, and when I crave chocolate, I like um, a Hershey's with almonds. That's my favorite. That's my favorite. I like, I like the um, almond joys. Those are pretty good. See, I, okay, here's my deal. And I could identify with Woody Harrelson when he said this in Zombieland. I like the way that coconut tastes. I do not like the texture of coconut. Ooh, really? Yeah, I have a weird thing about. What textures. about like? Well, what? Okay, so that's like a shredded coconut. But what about like? Do you ever have you ever had like the dried coconut? Um, like I don't know if they're flakes. They're like chips. Like right now, I'm on another kick. This is something else that I love so much. Um, it's. Uh, and it's organic it's like a brittle it's made with coconut chia seeds pumpkin seeds and something else and then it has like a brown rice syrup that they use to make it like a brittle so it's like crunchy and hard oh no i have to try that but straight like shaved coconut i don't like it's it's the same reason i don't like snowballs because i don't like the way i do not like the texture (laughs) of coconut like that I like orange juice and I like oranges, but I do not like orange juice with pulp because I don't like the texture. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I have weird, weird issues with texture. Very weird. I've been drinking these aloe drinks um, and oh. they have like pulp in them. They have a little bit of aloe pulp in them, but they're really good. And they're good for you, especially if you're like have any kind of stomach issue or anything. My dad's the one who like turned me on to him and he's, he has a degree in nutrition from Virginia tech and um, biochemistry. So I trust him with that kind of stuff more than yeah. I trust myself. But he said that like aloe is really, it will heal the inside of your gut the same way that it will heal your wounds on the outside. Really? If you drink now, it, I might could, really good. I like the way aloe, thank you for gifting a membership teacup uh, crack. And that was so sweet of you, babe. I appreciate that. I'd like, 
I can do a little tiny bit of pulp, right? If I need to. But as far yeah. as, you know, like if my stomach was upset and I knew that that's what I had to drink to, to help my tummy, I would drink it. I just, it's not something it's, I wouldn't pick it. You know what I mean? Like, I don't, I don't like, um, I don't like it. Um, I don't necessarily like pulp and orange juice either. A piff pixel pixie says that might help with Tisha's intestines. <laughs> Does it grow new intestines <laughs> after the Volturi have robbed right. them from you? Um, but yeah, if you have stomach <laughs> issues, you guys try it. Uh, you the like the one that I was drinking the other day was pineapple flavored and it was organic aloe with a, it was flavored with real pineapple it was cane sugar so they're sweet they do have some sugar in them but they're just so good now i do love some pineapple i'm not gonna lie i do like um, pineapple so but tomorrow think, yeah we don't have work we, no we do not well i'll message Lee's mom and see if she still wants to come on and do like a on your channel um okay, like good. a review of the trial so far absolutely whatever i'm down for whatever if we want to do calls later i know for me i am um done with the documentary i'm just um fine tuning it and make sure that everything is where i want it and all that so um I'm going to, 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 to premiere it in between like the trial stuff, you know, so just be on the lookout for that. You guys. So I stopped at 45 minutes might be a little bit longer you, than that now, but right around that time frame. Go what, babe? After three little red said, do you, have you been following the Audrey Cunningham? I have. Case? I have. Oh my god! And oh, we talked about awful. it for a second last night, but oh, yeah, yes, it's awful. And I, I guess they um, recovered her backpack. Has that? Had they? I know they recovered yeah. a backpack. Is it officially her backpack now? I've heard that it was her backpack, but um, I don't, I don't know if they said that in the press conference or not. I, to... I actually haven't today. I don't know anything that's happened today with it because. I was doing the calls and I had to run down to the dollar store to get cigarettes. And we had dinner, like, it was just chaos and busy all evening. Um, so I haven't caught up with what's been going on now. Oh, thank you, Giblet. And thank you, Clicker. It's, it's coming. Huh? Mayla's mom says it's hers. Mayla's mom okay. and crumbs have been, and Claws have been following it way closer. Like they know much more than I do. And they've all three been messaging me stuff about it so um okay i just I wanted to make sure that it was her backpack because you guys know how i feel about that i don't want to um um you know i don't want to spread any misinformation were there two oh my god melissa i feel like there might have been I'm, i don't I'm know I, like I, I'm, two, yeah yeah I'm going to have to get, I'm going to, I'm going to go see what I can watch about that because I, it sounds to me like they're, it's now, I mean, they're, that they're sort of, the hope is still there, but the reality of the situation or whatever they've discovered thus far has kind of set in. Now I did listen to a press conference last night <clears throat> and the, um, officer who was giving the press conference referred to her in the past tense more than once said she was oh, loved yeah. you know yeah. and that and ev people picked up on that but I want to say this about that to people sometimes when people speak in the past tense about a person it's because whatever the event was that they're speaking about also is in the past tense and so not all the time is it true that when people refer, it is, it's, it should be noted when somebody is speaking of somebody in the past tense, particularly, you know, particularly when they're missing, right? It is something right. that should be noted and kept an eye kept on, but it's not all the well, time indicative of foreshadowing. 
You know what I mean? Like, I, I think, I think he, right. the way, the reason he used the past tense is because it was something he was, he was asked that had happened like earlier in the day or even the day before. So the event he was talking about was in the past tense. So right. anyway, I've seen that before too, with cases, you're a hundred percent. Right. But, um, also, did you see that there was like, there was supposedly, now I'm still like, okay, supposedly there was an alert that went out on like this scanner app that said uh -huh. that um, he, he confessed to murdering her or something like that. But I am, I mean, I don't know anything about this scanner app. So it's yeah. not something that I would put my faith into, but I know it's been like reported all over about but that. I like I'm curious about that. Why would and Ivy, before we, let me just stop for oh, a second. I did get it. your email, babe. Um, oh, Gannon. I did get your email, babe, and I just haven't responded to it yet, but I will. I promise. Look for it tomorrow. I'll, I'll reply to you tomorrow. I want to look into that case a little bit. Um, okay. And uh, Mia, okay, dokie, already choky. I will look at, I'm going to check emails in the morning. That's usually what I do. And I, I, I've just been bad about it because I've been doing other stuff and getting distracted, but that's my bad. Um, but I will get, go to the oh, emails look. tomorrow. Hmm. Look, Claus says, Claus says that is not true, Alex. And like I said, she's been following it super closely. And then also Mela's mom said, apparently that is user generated. Okay. Well, I, cause I have seen so many people report on it and I'm like, I just had, a, I don't know. There's just part of me that was it doesn't like, make sense. This. Why would they report a confession on a scanner? Yeah. yeah. Now, and it, now it, they it, might, it. they might relay information from an interview that they had with him, like where to look or, you know, check this, check that. But they, I do not, I, there's no, there was no, would be no reason, especially law enforcement's not, I mean, people have been listening to scanners forever. Um, like it's not new technology, um, but Especially people, do, but but people were listening to scan when people were listening to scanners like back in the day, they didn't really have a way to report on what the activity that was going on on the scanners, right? But newsrooms used to listen to them, so um, which obviously yeah. they have. Yeah. That's how they know where to where to dispatch their people. But anyway, I can't imagine that there would be a, any reason at all for them to to say that over the scanner like it, I just don't that doesn't make any sense to me I mean neither but I'm telling you what and Kathy says that's why I just do press conferences that's why I always say like if it's not from coming from officials in a document in a press conference from po police mouth their mouth um I never put that much weight you know as much weight into it as if it does but you would be surprised because it was being reported on everywhere I saw it so many times so it's just unfortunate. I don't know. It is. It is. I oh, think that. It, it, thank you. I mean, uh, there's already like I heard that, you know, I'm sure people will be trying to bring on the family and all this stuff. Yeah. I just wish that creators would take a step back and understand that it's an active investigation. You know what I mean? Not all right. cre some creators do a fabulous job, but also, you know, I just like I said, it's a, it, it's a case that's getting very popular. I keep seeing it everywhere. And that is when we start seeing people ex start exploiting it. Look at Idaho, look at Summer Wells. It's just yeah. the truth. Um, yeah. Um, and while I, while I know people want to hear from her, her loved ones, right. And have them on their panel and all of like, all, all of that. Um, I would, I would exercise caution because yeah. this is a very raw emotional time for her loved ones. And YouTube is even when, even when the mainstream media does a quote unquote live interview, they usually don't, there, there's always a delay. So if something comes out that shouldn't come out, they have an opportunity to, you guys won't hear, we won't hear it. The public won't hear it. 
and there's not, we don't, I mean, you can get like, you can use a, a different streaming service that will let you have a delay like that, but most people don't. And <clears throat> I don't know. It just makes me nervous because I hate to see anybody be exploited. And I don't think people start out with the intention to um, exploit, but it always inevitably ends up happening. It does. And I think that, no, they don't, but some, I think, when they see this, there's cases bringing in the numbers and stuff, mm -hmm. they start to look for, that's when they're like, okay, time to have content on this. So they'll do just a, you know, they want to keep the content coming to keep the numbers mm -hmm. in. Um, and, and, and all creators want people to view their stuff. There is nothing right. wrong with that, but it's just, I mean, I if nobody, if you, I if don't, you don't want people to view your stuff then keep it like, you know, when you make a video, private, just yeah. don't, just don't share it anywhere, you know, just keep it in whatever software app you're using, you know? Yes, exactly. But no, it just, I don't know. It just bothers me because it, it like part of me, I love to talk about true crime. I do, but there's a part of me that is like, I want, I definitely want to do it like I, ethically like and responsibly. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I'm never going to sell my, that, Yeah. I get it feels like it's not sometimes that, but you know, and especially with, with certain things that happen that I don't know, I just, yeah. I never want to be like that. And it, it almost makes you like scared to, to talk about some of these cases because yeah, I don't know. I think it's important. People need to understand how important this is. Right. This is real life. These are not characters. They're, they're real humans. This is a real child. Her parents are real people. Her family's real people. She went to a real school. Like they're, you know, I just, yeah, it's not a, a TV show. There's, there no, there's nothing. I mean, they, they're like, they're normal people, regular everyday, you know, get up, go to work kind of people. And I'll say this too. Um, I, I agree with you, Allie, about, you know, not selling out your morals and your ethics. And, and I won't either. I feel the exact same way. I feel like, when it's my time to go, I'm already going to have some things that I need to be answering for. Probably going to need some character witnesses, some letters of explanation. I don't need to add to that. I don't need to have to get up to those pearly gates and explain to St. Peter about my YouTube shenanigans. Okay? I just don't need it. I don't need that kind of negativity. <laughs> I don't need that kind of pressure. Because yeah. he's probably, you know, he probably, <laughs> need, why, he probably doesn't even watch YouTube, so it won't even make... Even if I try to explain it, isn't he's not going to understand, you know? <laughs> I don't so, need that kind of pressure. <laughs> I don't need that kind of pressure, man. I just don't. But anyway, I'm going to let you guys go for the night. Allie, thank you so much for all your hard work on these calls. You did an amazing job. Ah, uh, Debbie, thank you so much for joining oh, your membership. You. I appreciate that. Welcome to the ward. Um... I appreciate that little red that you guys will speak for me. I'm going to need it. I can tell you right now. I know. I know. Um, but think you did such a great job. You don't have to worry, Allie. You did a fantastic job. Keep it up. Thank you, you got this, babe. And I appreciate all of your hard work. And I appreciate all of you guys being here. Thank you so much. You guys' support means the world to Allie and I. Um, if you haven't done so already, give your girl a thumbs up on the stream and have oh, a great relieving. Yeah, we are, babe. Um, we um, have a great rest of your yeah. Sunday night and we will be back tomorrow with um, something for sure. Don't know what, don't know when, but we will be here. <laughs> All right? Yes. Good night, you guys. And thank you, guys. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye.